All right, boys, weekly rewards came in. I'm not sure where we were finished, but we finished somewhere between 51 and 75, I think, in the 60s. Um, EA tweeted out something that they're going to audit and punish the players that cheated, but, I mean, I don't think that's going to help us. Like, I don't think it's moving people up. It's just take removing people off. So um, we'll see if they if they become transparent with it. They, they usually don't. They just make vague stuff like that. So, anyways, this is the rewards I got. 120k 460 trophies and uh all these packs i mean obviously i want to be that youtuber that's like let me open the packs and show you guys why you shouldn't open the packs but i really need to increase my team i need to get my team better uh for next week only because 21 and 4 well technically yeah 21 and 4 but you know i got one dc up 17 7 so 22 and 3 that's not good enough um and I know there's pieces that I need. For instance, I need a tight end. Um, I need... I need... Uh, cooks somehow, some way. I don't know. Probably not. But I need John Lynch. Um, there's there's pieces I need. And, um, and yeah, so I need these coins. I'm going to take these coins. Um, uh, I don't know, man. Okay. Let's just open this Hail Mary. See what we get. I mean, I probably should take the pack just for the video, but for the team, I really need the the coins. Like, always take. I always say like, always take the coins. You really need to take the coins. And I'm probably gonna take the coins. We'll, we'll do. We'll do half and half. We'll see if they're worth it. So the first midfield pack. I'll open it. I'll open this one. But I do need coins. Like, I need coins bad. Um, I kind of did a stupid thing, and uh, after I finished my weekend league, I sold about like eight different pieces off my ooh midfield pack specialist. Nice, maybe maybe they are worth it. Maybe we will open these. I'll take that. Like I was saying, I kind of did something stupid. Um, as soon as I was done my weekend league, it was like Saturday night. I was like, you know, weekend league's still going on. Maybe I can sell some pieces and uh, buy them back later. I mean, I can still check right now. They might be cheaper, but. It's just not a good idea because you lose ten percent off tax, and then it's just they need to drop at least ten percent each card for you to even break even, and then it's like it just just wasn't a good idea at all. So definitely won't be doing that again. Keep my team intact, and then I can't like I couldn't really play head to head because my team wasn't intact. So no elite on this one. So yeah, don't do that. Not smart. Not smart at all. Alright, we'll, we'll just open the packs. We'll open the packs this first one so you guys can see what you get if you make top 100 or top 75. Um, red zone pack, I believe, is 20 or 25K. It's one of those. So We'll see if we can squeeze out 20K profit in these packs. Uh, you, you tend to not, but you never know. Max Crosby, he didn't really do anything, but we got a dub this week. So See, that pack was well, definitely not 20k and that's probably two four six eight probably anywhere between eight to 11k so that was an l um i'm not sure what the the quick sell is the quick sell might be 25 the highest or 20 it's one of those i wish it would tell you but it doesn't yeah we'll we'll, we'll take the packs we'll take the packs there is a limited in packs so you never know just one crazy pull can just change the whole the whole dynamic of top 100 rewards that was trash that was even worse than the last pack all right so you got three touchdown packs plus a guaranteed 84 plus elite so that's where the tj watson is in the last pack so three touchdown packs these are 50k each so instead of taking basically 150k don't recommend doing this but i just i'm gonna risk it for the biscuit so see what we get a first touchdown pack of the year never opened one of these before but they're low-key just elite player packs and there's the elite player so ooh, two elites that's still not going to equal 50k pretty much but uh but two elites ain't bad that's gonna get us 25 to 35 maybe we'll see i'll just have to then like with the packs you have to do the extra work of going to sell everything that you get instead of just taking the coins and just having it already on your just having it on you so 
Two silvers and touchdown packs. Nice. That's an 83. Yeah, you, th this is why you take coins. Oh. Um, low key trash, but I'm already in too deep, so. Gotta finish strong. Last pack. This this was AIDS. They kind of like I like the old school touchdown packs, like the the three elite choices. That's way better than this trash. Odell Beckham, that's a good pull. He's one of those like lower overalls that tend to sell for higher. So here's the big pack, the topper, base elite, gray Jarrett. Hmm. I probably I probably left a lot of coins on the table. I'm not gonna lie, but twenty one and four. That's what that got me in. I'd like to improve on that. Obviously, that's good. I mean, anyone would take that, but let's do some uh, upgrades right now. I'll show you guys some upgrades to my team. All right, so training has got to be the biggest scam. Pretty much, I used a milli. Um, offense remained the same for the most part. Um, I did have to rebuy Larry Allen because... I made some stupid decisions after we can leave. I sold a bunch of pieces and then had to buy them back at more expensive, which I thought they would go down. But so that was kind of a L right there. But uh, we did pick up Tony G. So he's new, the only new player on offense. 80, got him up to 85 speed. Looks pretty glitchy. Um, so we'll see. We'll check him out. And uh, we also picked up the other new legend on defense. So we picked up John Lynch. That's crazy. Like, I really just got two new players and spent a milli. Like, training is just, to, in order to power them up, to, to buy these cards, they probably cost, yeah, about 500 k for each of them, pretty much for the card and the training itself. That's just, that's wild. So, this is pretty much going to be the team that I bring into Weekend League, unless, well, depending on what they drop um, from now till Thursday. They're supposed to drop new content tomorrow, so... It's probably going to be big content also, but check out the Lynch. I had to replace Weddle because he was a liability in a run cut, run support. So this is actually a hitter. So he has really good zone and he can hit and he's big 6'2". So that was a, I'm hoping he can make plays for me. We'll see. Haven't played with either of those cards yet. But yeah, the Millie just on two cards, probably maybe even more than a Millie. Oh well, no, not two cards. I, have to, I bought the kicker back. I have to buy my stupid kicker back. The right guard. Just don't don't sell your team after weekend league thinking that you can get it back cheaper because it didn't work out for me. But this is a team for weekend league. Gonna improve on my record of twenty one and four with one DC. So I should have won twenty two and three, but I'm shooting for twenty three wins. And. uh I'll be playing with this team tonight on Twitch, so come check it out. Links are in the description. Let me know how you guys did in Weekend League. Let me know if you guys made any upgrades, what you guys got with your Weekend League reward packs, all that in the comments. I'm out.